welcome to the channel let me show you how to import your favorite fonts into file p as you can see this font that you see here was not in file to p but i was able to get it from google into this application okay so if you have a font this is for anybody that uses a file to p if you have a, if you have a favorite font that file to p does not have it is simply easy to import it into file to p so let's go and do that here i'm going to be using google font.google.com you, you have tons of a lot of fonts here a lot so you can search through the available fonts here so like this one tapestry is not in file to p so that is what i'm gonna import right now so to import a font i will have to go look for it and click i already do, i have done that already as you can see so here i will go for download family i will go save this somewhere so you go save it somewhere on your computer so for me i have a a folder already let me go save it inside this keywords folder and i will hit save yes is a zip file i have to unzip the file as you can see is already downloaded i will have to go here and go to show in folder i'm using winrar zip archive as you can see if you don't have it you can go download it on online so that is what i'm using i will have to right click on that to unzip this file and i will have to extract to tapestry extract to tapestry done look at it over here so what you have to do now we have to take this into file to p i already have a font i will just go and double click on the font. you can just write something on the background and then double click then the option here for you to upload your font we appear just click on that drop down and it says here load font so i will have to go click on that load font it will take me to my computer to get the file but before we do that let me show you that we don't have a tapestry here if we go there again we have to type tapestry As you can see, we don't have that font. We don't have it. Uh, if you go for Tiro, for example, the one I'm using now, you can see we have Tiro here. So we don't have tapestry. So let me go and uh, load it. Load font. It will take me here. Then I will have to go where I saved that. Here is that tapestry. I will double click to open, then click on this not the txt that one is text but here is the file we have double click on the file just click ok font tape loaded so let's go and see if we have it let's type tapestry as you can see we have tapestry let me go back and delete from here so remember we are using tiro here is the font we are using up here so let's go change it to tapestry and see how it looks so we go here and look for tapestry you can add as a favorite so that you can easily get them without searching so i will go add it as one of my favorites so let's click and see what happens so here is a tapestry here is the font when you have a look at the this font you can italicize this font we are making use of the regular form of it so up here let me double click and you can see we are making use of the regular form but if you want to italicize it you just click on the drop down and click on italic tapestry 
and let me see so there is no italicize the italic form of it we don't have it here uh, so that is how to import a font into Kautopi. that is it for this video thank you for watching and god bless you please do not forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and activate that notification bell so that anytime a video is posted on this channel you will be notified to come check it out